What's going on y'all, I'm Frank, welcome back to the channel. So as I'm sure all of y'all have seen, like I have myself, Diddy's castle is starting to burn. So yesterday they broke news that the FBI was raiding his home in Beverly Hills and then another home in Florida. Also reports that his private jet was headed to an island in the Caribbean. And then video started to circulate of Diddy at the Miami airport. He was outside, you could tell he was sort of like pacing back and forth, he was stressed out. And this all started happening around the same time, right? And when the helicopter footage came out of his home being raided in Beverly Hills, they showed his son was in handcuffs and they showed the feds all over that place, right? So it turns out that he wasn't headed to an island in the Caribbean. His plane got pulled over. And why? So there's a gentleman that they described as Diddy's drug mule. He was on the plane with him and he got caught with, uh, you know, some of the snow and, and some marijuana. So he got charged up. So a couple things that I know, right? The feds, number one, the feds are not gonna go after somebody like Diddy who has the money and the power and the influence that he does, they're not gonna go after him unless they have their ducks in a row. That pretty much goes without saying, right? And then in order to have two different search warrants in two different states, two different parts of the country pop off at the same time from the feds, guarantee you some bad stuff had to be going on. They said it, you know, had to do with some, uh, some trafficking situation and mind you, Diddy's been in a lot of heat lately because he had that lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, that he settled out of court within 24 hours, paid her millions of dollars. So me and the guys in the shop, we were speaking about this, right? And a couple things came to mind. Any of y'all that are in a relationship or have been in a relationship in the past, think about this. Rachel knows so much stuff about me, right? Especially because we were together before I decided to change my life. So she knows a lot about me, a lot of stuff that I did that, you know, if it would come to light, it might not be the best thing for me. Some stuff criminally, maybe some stuff that morally would just be wrong. And then you take somebody of Diddy's caliber and status. This is a man that is, is a billionaire, right? Not only is he a billionaire, but he's been a millionaire Ever since he really, uh, you know, came about and, and came on the scene, he's been having money. You know, they said his father was a big hustler from back in the day. Another thing, this man grew up in Harlem. He grew up around wolves. He grew up around street dudes. So there's no way you're gonna tell me that a dude that comes from that type of pedigree, that shit isn't ingrained in his soul, 100%. There's stuff that we're taught when we're young. The same way if we come from a good family and our, our parents teach us, look, don't lie, don't steal, don't cheat. That stuff is ingrained in us, right? And then now if you see people that are living the street life, that stuff is also ingrained in you as well. Doesn't show no boundaries. So think about this. He was with Cassie for 15, 20 years, right? And they always had, you know, a, a weird relationship, I guess you could say. And that's on, that's at best, right? That's me providing him with a lot of bail. So think about all the stuff that we heard over the years, you know, and stuff that came out in the lawsuit where she said, you know, he would he would uh, make her be intimate with people in front of him. And, you know, he would make her, uh, you know, do certain things with certain people. Um, can you believe all that? I don't know. You know, I wasn't there and I'm the type of person, if I wasn't there to see it with my own eyes, you have a whole lot of convincing to do to make me believe it. And even more convincing to do to make me speak about it with somebody else. So I feel like all his stuff is starting to come out. All his dirty laundry is being aired. You know, he's being sued by another producer that says, you know, there was some, uh, some activities with him and other people uh, that they said he blew up Kid Cudi's car. Kid Cudi, is a rapper that was signed with Kanye West, good music. He was dating Cassie, which is Diddy's ex. 
It said Diddy got upset, sent somebody to blow up his car. When they asked Kit Cudi about it, he confirmed and he said, absolutely, that did happen. And the thing about it, the more powerful you become, the more influential you become, the more rich you become, you have people that will be around you for nothing more than to do your dirt. They'll be a holster for your pistol. They'll be a holster for your drugs. And there's people that's just dying to get in your good favor especially if you're taking care of them. If you're feeding these people, guarantee you they're going to do what you say. So it looks like his house of cards is starting to crumble. And furthermore, it's like if me and Rachel were to get a divorce today and she's a woman scorn, if I do her wrong in the divorce or if I cheat on her, I put my hands on her, or if I kept putting her in these situations and making her do stuff that she didn't really want to do, She's going to have resentments to me. She's going to be upset. The second that I give her the chance to get me back, they're going to strike. You know, that old saying ain't nothing like a woman scorn. That not only goes for women, that goes for men too. Because men can be extremely spiteful and resentful. I, I know I can at times. I'm guilty of that. I'll raise my hand all day. So first it was the lawsuit. Then he settled with Cassie. Then another lawsuit came out from the music producer. His Beverly Hills home being raided. His Florida home being raided. His plane gets stopped at Opelika Airport. And they got the brother on there with the powder and the marijuana. So I'm going to read you what came out. And this came out in Rolling Stones. It also came out in CNN. So these are credible sources. Sean Combs, which is Diddy's real name, his accused mule arrested at Miami Airport on powder charges, and marijuana charges. Brendan Paul was arrested on Monday around the same time that Homeland Security guards executed warrants on two of Sean Combs' properties. A 25-year-old man accused in recent lawsuits of being Sean Combs' drug mule was arrested on Monday on powder and marijuana possession charges, according to arrest records obtained by Rolling Stones. Brendan Paul was taken into custody by Miami Dade police on Monday afternoon at Opelika Airport around 4.30 p.m. Police were working alongside Homeland Security agents when the arrest was made. Around the same time, dozens of Homeland Security agents and local law enforcement officers descended upon Combs residence in Miami and Los Angeles as part of a federal trafficking investigation led by Homeland Security coordinated raids were the first indication of a criminal investigation against Combs after numerous civil suits were filed against the bad boy executive. He also said it's not clear if Homeland Security was involved with any of the lawsuits or if it's strictly criminal. It's unclear if Paul's arrest is connected to the wider investigation into Combs or where he was headed when he was at the airport. Little Rod, he said, you know, Diddy was into it with Meek Mill and Stevie J and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the important thing is, he said that Paul was Diddy's mule, which now Paul gets arrested, you know, two weeks after Little Rod makes that allegation. He happens to be with Diddy. They're on Diddy's private plane at the same airport. That's highly coincidental, if you ask me. And I don't believe in coincidences. So an arresting officer said that Paul had contraband inside his personal travel bags. And uh, they tested positive for powder and marijuana. He has two bonds of $2,500 each, you know, so he... He didn't go to jail. He got his bonds and made his bonds. So little Rod stated that he had personally witnessed Paul acquire and distribute narcotics for Combs and his associates. They said, you know, this consisted of ecstasy, powder, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mushrooms, and Tucci. And they said Paul... And Little Rod stated that Paul would fly all around with Diddy and, you know, he he was his mule. Now, for some people, this might seem absolutely foreign. Some other people, they know this is just the way it goes. 
If you're involved in illegal activities, if you're involved in the street, you're getting money. 100%, you have somebody that goes around with you. They carry your drugs. They carry your pistols, whatever it might be. When I was in the streets, 100%, I had somebody that did that. So I just wanted to bring that news to y'all. I thought it was a little interesting, you know, and it's all over the headlines right now. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all enjoy this type of stuff, I'll do a little bit more of it. If not, so be it. For the people that enjoyed it, thank you. Remember to stay kind, loving, and patient, and make sure you keep your karma clean, man, because nothing, and I repeat, absolutely nothing stays hidden and stays in the dark forever. All it takes is one time we slip up, or all it takes is one time we get somebody upset, things don't go a person's way, they're going to speak about it. So that's why it's just a better idea to keep your nose clean, stay out of trouble, and treat everybody accordingly. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient. Stay blessed, y'all.